This is the explanation for the two assign for the uh, storyboard assignment. So you can see we're in the game mechanics unit. In the storyboard assignment, you're going to choose an older game to play. And you could do a, an online game if you want, or an older video game or something like that. But you're going to play the game, and you're going to take some notes on general rules, characters, etc. Now this whole unit talked about rules. And rules are not only like the rules of play, what you're allowed to do, and, what, and things like that, but rules are also how the gameplay rolls out. So you're going to make some, uh, some notes on all of these different things. And then you're going to create a prototype storyboard. Now, I would suggest that you might go online and do a, a search on what is a storyboard or a game design storyboard or something like that. But what a storyboard is, and the, the unit over here talks about it, a storyboard is graphical designing of what the game might look like. So you could storyboard the levels, and you would have the characters as part of that storyboard. So it's a variety of things like that. So what they're having you do in this is you're going to create a prototype storyboard for whatever older game you choose. And you're going to present this in a PowerPoint or other presentation software like Prezi or something like that. Sketch out the characters and the environment. Don't just copy and paste them from the game. Now, one that lots of students did when I've done this class before is they did uh, uh, well, Pac-Man. They, they did that one. Uh, you know, just simple simple games like that. Mario, Super Mario would be a good one. Simple ones like that. So you're going to end up doing this. In a, you're going to sketch this out in a PowerPoint. And you're going to, so you'll end up with, with uh, five slides. Or you might have, you know, multiple slides for the, the levels right here. Um, and I don't. This isn't, gonna, isn't a huge assignment, it's only 20 points, but I just want the idea that you understand what a storyboard is. So you may not have pictures on, on each of them, but certainly you have pictures of a character, and you probably have pictures of the, the game board. And then you'll have a discussion of what the different levels are, and you'll or you'll you'll write about what the different the goals of each level is, and you'll write about the progressions of level to level. So you'll end up with multiple slides on this presentation. And again, you're going to be sketching your own characters. Because that's what storyboarding is. Storyboarding is sketching with pen and pencil and just writing out. It's almost sort of like a rough draft. Because you just want to do it quickly and you want to get the ideas out there. Later on, you take your sketches and your storyboard to a designer and then they take those ideas and the pencil drawings that you've done and then they use the high level graphics software to make it more um, you know, graphics for a game and things like that. So you're just going to sketch it out, put your images in and things like that. So this is a pretty easy assignment, 20 points. Again, an older game, Pac-Man, Super Mario. Try to find a simplified game like that. Okay, thank you. Look forward to your work. Bye.